So um, it's great to be back, and uh, since we were here last in September of last year, we completed our Series C, raising 39 million euros. It was led by Reliance, um, which is the largest company in India, and they have a plan to make solar available to every Indian village. Now, what does that mean? They want to create 100 gigawatts of manufacturing capacity in India by 2030. And how do you do that from a standing start? What I will share with you today is a new technology to make the most expensive portion of solar cells and modules, namely the solar wafer. The solar wafer accounts for 70% of the cell cost and 40% of the module cost. But that semiconductor material in the middle has historically been made in an exceptionally energy-intensive manner. What we are doing is commercializing a technology that already exists in electronics, epitaxy, and we're applying it to a new field photovoltaics to help continue the cost down roadmap for solar. We heard earlier that renewable energy today gives more than 50% of the electricity in Germany, but 99% of the solar wafers that the sun base component of that renewables comes from are from China. And that's because China has lowered the price of solar by scaling up in creating an internal market uh, solar technologies. This has given a better cost point, but that improvement in uh, LCOE, the levelized cost of electricity, is petering out. To get further improvements, you need to be able to do something about the efficiency of the solar wafer and the cost of manufacturing. And that's what NextWave intends to do. And the way we're doing it is we're skipping seven intermediate steps. Now, th these intermediate steps in the classic way of making wafers, including make, making an intermediate product called polysilicon, and what's interesting about that is that 95% of the world's polysilicon today comes from China and 99% of the wafers made from that polysilicon come from China. So this is not only a question that the manufacturing uses electricity that is 70% generated from coal, but it, it is becoming a geopolitical strategy question. Can we create a renewable future for Europe, for the West, when the supply chain is 99% based on one country's manufacturing? So epitaxy allows you to lower costs, skip these seven intermediate steps, and start with raw materials that are globally available. And the way we do it is we start with a seed wafer that is a perfect single crystal silicon material, and then we create a clone. We do it very simply. We create a release layer on the upper surface. We then engineer a new wafer on top of it by depositing directly from the gas phase the new silicon material, and then we split the two, reusing the underlying seed wafer. This process allows us to create not only better wafers with better chemical properties, but also thinner wafers. And new cell technologies now require thinnesses that ordinary sawing of ingots, which is the classical way of making wafers, cannot reach. So NextWave can create a tailored product with the proper thickness that new cell technologies are demanding. This is going to increase solar efficiency in cells and modules by 2 to 3% at a capex and opex that is half of conventional technologies. What does that mean? It means that we can actually make a dent in clean energy transitions. 
because we can use strategic partnerships with global entities such as Reliance, such as our other lead investor, Aramco, in order to be able to scale this technology quickly. We are already in the planning phases of a pilot facility in Bitterfeld that will start off with up to 500 megawatts of capacity, scalable to three gigawatts with installed infrastructure, but globally, we are looking for strategic partners. The first one signed up in our Series C, and we expect an additional one or several partners to continue the journey with us in the Series D. That allows us to do technology diffusion at speed. And the reason for this is that every 15 gigawatt plant can replace enough carbon that even at carbon prices of 25 to 50 euros give you tens of millions of carbon credits per year for the manufacturing. So our pilot facility has a completely European supply chain. It is located next to the producer of the starting material, Zevonic, and this is a picture of the current location. And I would want to also point out that since we're low capex, this we intend to have as the Series D is expected to be the final financing round before we go to a revenue generating licensing model. So by raising 100 million euros in the next six to 12 months, we'll be able to complete the building of the pilot facility, get to cash break even, and then create a business model with 70% gross margins. It is impactful, it makes a dent in clean energy transition, and it almost has the margins of a software business. Welcome to NextWave.